Ooh. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you haven't been here before. Recently I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about buying and selling secondhand nearly new items, things like that. Um, and it's something I've been really interested in for quite a while and I have actually dabbled in it a little bit before um, but you know I'm always looking for ways to bring in a little bit more income here and there to help pay the bills working my way towards financial independence and if any of you watch Jamie and Sarah you'll know what I'm talking about and yeah I just thought I'm gonna give it a go I'm I'm, I'm dabbling in quite a few different things to earn extra cash um, a lot of youtubers call that a side hustle so i guess i'm doing lots of side hustles today i went out to a basically in my local area um a few houses got together and and held like a kind of driveway slash garage sale so i went along and i thought i'd have a look 17 pounds is what i've spent on these and I'm hoping to make a little bit of profit. But I don't expect it to be a lot because this is kind of early stages of reselling. I got, if you can see that, a Babyliss uh, Curling Wand Pro. This, um, the lady that sold me this, she's only used it once and she just didn't really get on with it. I haven't seen what that they will sell for because it is used, but only used once. So that's a good thing um not sure at the moment we'll see this cost me five pounds which i think was good if it doesn't do well and i end up only getting 10 then that's fine i'm happy with that a game boy advance um apparently it works i do need to check it um basically there were two of these there was a black one which looked better on the outside but when i looked inside the battery compartment the batteries had leaked so if you spot that it's quite difficult to know if it's going to be okay so I went for the one with no batteries and no signs of leak it does need a clean up um, I've got a computer kit so um, I should be able to get that nice and clean um, but yeah that was three pounds so I thought why not and obviously i will test it out and then there were some games for a pound each so i was trying to think of what would be the more popular out of the selection and so i went for um Yu-Gi-Oh worldwide edition so give it a go um i'll have no idea how to play it but as long as it all boots up and is working then i'm happy so that was four pounds in total so again potential profit to be made a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse now a lot of people are working from home a few of these are on the market because people are no longer working from home but if anyone is in a similar uh, situation to me they'll be work still working home part of the time um, it's generally good condition the buttons are nice and it's not too clunky and noisy the only defect i found is one of the little risers is missing like this the little stand so i'll have a look i'm not sure uh, i'll see how it goes with listing it as is battery operated i will test it out i've got um i've got a pc here that i can test it out with and same with the mouse obviously the digital receiver little usb dongle thing that's in there and kept safe so i will test that out before listing it lastly from today's boot sale i'm hoping this one will do quite well for me is a sony sony blu-ray player a nice compact unit obviously a great name sony um so i'll give that a go i need to test it out i've got loads of blu-rays thankfully so i can test it and it comes with the remote control as well looks nice and clean so i'm happy with that um it's got a few marks so i'm gonna give it a little bit of a polish 
um, and just blow out any dust and stuff. I've got one of those cans of air. Test it out, see how it runs and get that listed. That was five pounds, which I think is pretty good. I wouldn't have paid any more than five pounds for a DVD player, Blu-ray player, video player. Uh, so that's it from today. And yesterday um, we got some Levi's jeans for free brand new, only been tried on a couple of times, but not actually worn um, out. Levi's 569, um, basically the guy that got them, they just felt a bit too short for him. Um, so he wasn't comfortable wearing them. But yeah, fantastic condition, brand new. Um, I've already listed these. I've cross-sold, um, cross-listed them on eBay Depop and vinted using zip sale which i found out about from watching the retro reselling channel so big shout out um for retro reselling i've learned a lot recently uh, from that channel and i watch it pretty much every day at the moment so that's it i need to obviously test everything photograph everything and get it listed <laughs> Temperamental. Hmm. Not going to get much for this because it sometimes switches on, but not all the time. Doesn't look like it's registering the game either. Poo. Wish I brought batteries with me. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Um. So. Because I was going to clean it up and everything and make it look really nice. I was told it worked, but obviously she may have thought it worked. I don't know, but it does switch on. As you can see, a few times it wouldn't switch on and then it would. So what I'm going to do now is test the game separately. Ugh. I've got a Nintendo DS, which is my own, because the Nintendo DS, you can use the old Game Boy Advance games in. So let's see if the game works. Please. Oh, something's happening. Yeah. So the game is tested and working. Great. So I've taken a photograph of the screen. That shows the game working. So I'm going to list the game um, on eBay. And there's been quite a few sold without the box, just the cartridge. Um, and they've, it, it varies a bit, but um, should be okay. See what. <laughs> this is good. The booklet is Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition, but the game is Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. But that's fine, because I only paid for the game, so it's not like it made a difference. It's one pound. Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Um, got one for four ninety nine plus postage, five fourteen four, seven nineteen with free postage. Someone paid ten pounds with free postage. Oh wow, that's amazing! Someone, someone sold that game with the box and manual and a sealed card, Yu-Gi-Oh card, £188. That's amazing. Okay, so I think it's ranging maybe four, five, six pounds. So that's fine. It only costs a pound and it's going to, postage isn't going to be huge anyway, because that will just go in an envelope. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So I'll list that one on its own. And out of curiosity, I'm going to see if any if this booklet would be any use because I don't need it. World worldwide. I realised how old I must be looking, trying to focus on the text. Worldwide edition. Game Boy Advance manual only. Let's have a look. Someone sold one, just the manual, for 99p plus £3.20 postage. So I think they probably made profit on that postage. If I get a quid for that, that's the game and the manual covered. And then if I get a few pounds for the, the game, that's fine. And then I'm going to have to list this as spares or repairs. See, it won't even switch on there. Now there's brand new batteries. So in some situations it does, the light kind of flicks, see? If I had the time and the patience, oh, there we go. If I had the time and the patience, I would have a look just to see if there's anything loose that could do with soldering, which I've done. Oh, it's loaded the game this time. So that's good. So I'll show it working, but I'll say it's temperamental. I've got to be honest with the listing. I don't want to give people false ideas of it working perfectly and then they get it and they give it to their kid and they're disappointed. I'd rather it goes to someone who likes refurbishing um, retro consoles and things like that. And I know there are loads of people around that do that and watch a bunch of them on YouTube. So need to test the Blu-ray player now. Looks like we've got a bit more luck with this one. Let me move all my work stuff out of the way. So it switches on, I think. There we go. Screen shows, which is good. Change. Oh, it's a bit like the PlayStation. Oh, I suppose because PlayStation is Blu-ray as well. Um, okay. look see what happens oh sue's messaging me hi sue who do you want to send it to oh no i don't want you siri no Excellent. Um, okay, great. So that works. I have no issue with that. I'm very pleased. This cost me five pounds. A little bit of wear around the edges, but fingers crossed that should get something. So that's all good. Taking the batteries out. It works. I'm thrilled, especially because of the Game Boy being quite disappointing. Ah, can't get the batteries out. Um, so that's going to be cleaned up, made to look nice and photographed. And last thing to test is this. Now, the, all I can do, I'm not going to sit here and do it in my hair, but all I can do really is just make sure it heats up. She said there was a glove thing in it, but it doesn't have anything else in it, but that's fine. All I want is the, let me just check. Oh, it says heat protection glove. That's not included, but I'll, oh, lovely. Hair. Okay. Um. Well, I can't say anything, mine gets everywhere. Uh, okay. I'm gonna see if it heats up. Don't know really how to use it. If you see this video, then I haven't been electrocuted. How's that? Aha, power on. No, power on and then temperature up, 185. Come on. 
Oh, it's heating up. Yes, it's heating up. <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue. I can... It smells really nice now. Um, okay, even though it doesn't curl my hair, it's heated my hair up. I'm not very good with knowing how to do these things. Believe it or not, I do have a, a hairdresser. Okay, so that's good, it works. I'll advertise it as a heat protection glove not included. Ah, I just saw, oh, that's good. So basically it's got a little stand, so that bit there and then this bit here doesn't heat up. Um, so that can cool down without melting my desk. I'm gonna leave it for tonight and then um, hopefully if I don't get it done during the week then it's going to have to wait till the weekend so it'll be a week after I bought them but it's fine I'm not in a hurry I'm not desperate for the cash so um, these are things that can wait and they're not taking up too much space thankfully plus today I sold an Apple keyboard um, so it's not not this style um it's the first wireless style with the batteries that go in like with the battery bits that go in there um rather than the chargeable one i managed to haggle for 25 pounds which was still higher than i wanted to go and i sold it i think for 38 plus postage so it's not too bad a small bit of profit but not much better than nothing anyway i think i forgot to say the the wireless mouse and keyboard work as well. Um, I tested those out, uh, they're fine. So I'll list it as tested of working perfectly, just missing a little stand there. Uh, so yeah, we will see how it goes. And I'm hoping that next time, next time I'm filming, I will have listed them and maybe even got a sale. Eventually. Okay, so all of the items that I showed you are listed. Within only a few hours of listing the Game Boy, it sold. Um, I got an offer for £28 and to be honest, I just took it. I obviously mentioned that it's temperamental. It does power up, but it seems like the battery area is a bit loose. I listed it for about, I think, something like 38 pounds something like that and um was willing to take offers because i only paid three pound for it and i just accepted the offer straight away hopefully whoever um gets it is going to be able to do something with it to make it work as they need or they might just be using it for parts who knows but yeah so i'm gonna pack that one up i've already got all these mailing bags and things for my for my other business um well i say other business for my business which is um, my online store, badsheetboutique.com. So it's quite handy when you are selling on eBay, if you need something and you don't quite have spare old envelopes or things like that, then I can use some mailing bags from there. Made from 100% recycled material. Like basically, I want to try and get some compostable bags. So my next lot that I stock up on are going to be all compostable. Anyway. Um, so that's going to be packed up. I'll give it another little wipe around before that goes. Also, I sold some Reebok uh, walking shoes that I got from TK Maxx. I think it was the last pair. So I listed them um, and they sold for £46. I bought them for £12, brand new condition, um, with tags. So that was amazing. So I was really pleased with that help to pay some bills because my car has uh, got problems um, and yeah we'll see how the rest go later and um, this has been a great sort of starter experience as I said I have dabbled with some buying and selling previously but now I'm sort of less wary of getting second-hand items or sort of pre-owned, pre-loved items. So yeah, before I wrap up this video, um, just wanted to show you 
uh, I had a, a little clear out of some of my own personal items. I sold a billabong wetsuit that doesn't fit me anymore for £50. I sold some wetsuit boots, can't remember exactly how much they went for but that was a great sale. So it's been a combination of buying and selling but also clearing out some of my old unwanted items. I just sold uh, this mini disc. I think I sold it for about £5 but that was just sitting in storage unused so that was a good little sale and easy to pack and post and the jeans sold um, because it's just a hobby a kind of side hustle I'm not too precious about getting the maximum amount of profit um, but to be fair anything that I sold those for would be profit because we got them for free I accepted an offer today for £20 so I'm really pleased with that so they're going to get packed up now. I recently went to my first car boot sale as well since starting this video and picked up a few nice things. I've got a little stereo, I've got some board games um, and I also got some shoes. So I've got some Adidas size 4, so smaller than I would have wanted but they were only £4 so I thought why not and they're in pretty good condition. Um, I also got some size 12 Adidas. Obviously, I've already put them in the bags, but these ones are too big to fit in one of my bags, so I've had to put them in separate bags and take them together just to help keep them nice, keep the dust off them and everything. So um, they're listed as well. And these uh, New Balance, again, like practically nowhere on the soles a few marks on the uppers but it looks quite cool um you know very nice neat trainers these are only two pound fifty so again i'm gonna make profit on these whatever and i've already got uh quite a few watches on them at the moment so hopefully they'll go quite soon all those things are listed now which is great and Got my headphones on because i'm editing this video right now thank you for watching really appreciate it hope it's been interesting um i'm looking forward to doing some more reselling videos in the future and as my channel is a bit of a mixture of content i will be back again doing vlogs more lego builds and whatever else i can find to do so um, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.